Hello, hello, 11, 11, my dear ones. And today, a very interesting subject, not new. I made already video years ago about narcissism. You may watch that again. But finally, I felt strongly that we should put the last nail in the coffin and get rid of the narcissists once and for all, whoever they are. And they may be our own partner, our own ex-partner, <laughs> who we still are thinking about and um, mesmerized by the love and passion and the good times we used to have or family members, or simply friends, co-workers. So, let me break it down, how I see and the problem, and how to finally get rid of it once and for all. And in order to do that, just like with every other issue or problem, we need to go to the bottom of it. So, I even prepared some notes because I want to be very uh, thorough here and not to miss anything. You see, these people don't understand, don't have empathy in them. They want what they want and they going after it. Now, if this was just this, many people don't have empathy. They don't feel sorry for people, they don't want to help them. That's not the biggest issue. The biggest problem with narcissists is the fact that they are very toxic. So if you are in this kind of relationship, most likely, you don't feel good. You're not well. One way or another. You're always thinking, you're always worrying, uh, what's going to happen, what he's doing. It just takes away your freedom of being who you truly are. It takes away happiness and joy from you. And it puts you in a state of constant worry, guilt, and the question, what's wrong with me? And what's wrong with the situation eventually? So, the beginning usually is wonderful. They not uh, acting weird or feeling, uh, you know, like something wrong with them. No, usually they psychopaths so they or sociopaths they absolutely wonderful they sweet they very loving they very concerned about how you're doing uh, what you want they put you on a pedestal you're the most important person in their lives family is bad the friends are crazy everybody is crazy the ex was crazy as well and this is the first sign that I want you to pay your attention to. If they call other family members or exes crazy, that's the first red flag and take it seriously. Don't be like a frog and that's the next video that I made and is excellent going with what I'm saying today. You can watch on YouTube that if the frog is put to the hot water, so if you see something that you don't like right away, like a frog, you're gonna jump out of that hot water. But if the frog is put into the cold water, you know, semi-cold warm, comfortable, and the heat is slowly more intense, the frog eventually will be boiled. 
there. The same thing may be with the narcissism. They put you on a pedestal, you on a throne, you the queen or king, feels wonderful, you feel so in love, you enjoy the passion between the two of you and you're saying, wow, this is my soul, my bone, this is my twin flame. It really feels like it. <laughs> um, and what this technique is known um, is as uh, love bombing. So they will bombard you with love, attention, joy and happiness. You're really falling for them big time. And in this case, they will make you emotionally dependent on them. Now you want more. You're like on drugs, on love drug. You want more of them. You want to be closer. You want to be together as often as you can because it feels really great. So, uh, no wonder. No, it means you under their spell and that's exactly where they want you to be. They feel now on the top of their game. Um, and at that moment, they may push you away. They will try to cut loose from you. And you will start to question yourself. What did they do wrong? What happened? You start to feel guilty. You start to maybe question your sanity. Like, what really happened? You will start to apologize. Because they're so wonderful. So you will feel like it's your fault. You will apologize. And uh, you will try to um, do anything to get back in their good graces. So you can feel that again, that beautiful feeling. And you are already codependent on his or her love, passion, and time together. Now, you will do anything to reconnect with the used to be times. That's all you're thinking about. You want that back. So, when is the next stage and the narcissist gets cold, cold, detached, they may start to, you want them back, and they may start to criticize you, to compare to somebody else, the third party even. And if they don't want to go with their flow, with their rules, and usually when you start to rebel, they detach more and more, they may even give you a silent treatment. Now they don't want to talk to you at all. So you start to think, my God, it must be my fault. What is wrong with me? Um, if you want them back, besides detaching, they may start to call you clingy, needy, um, or manipulating, jealous. <laughs> and in the meantime, they may have a third party that they talking a lot to, spending time with, so no wonder you started to go, wait a minute, I want his love back, I don't want him to share with another person. It's gaslighting, it's a pure manipulation, okay? To make um, believe that you causing them pain, that's how they're gonna act. And every time you rebel, against their accusations. They will make you feel worse for bringing the subject back. They may call you crazy. Um, you stressing them out. You pushing them away from you. You see? So they're going to put the light, the limelight on you. It's your fault. You should feel bad. And passive aggression 
goes with it and that's another video that I made and is on my YouTube channel. Please watch it. So they don't hit you physically, but they will absolutely destroy you sometimes mentally and emotionally in their own way. And if you get angry, it's your fault. It's all your fault. <laughs> uh, they will absolutely convince you beyond any doubt that everything that went wrong in this beautiful, passionate relationship was not them. It was all you. It's your fault. Um, and then they will uh, describe you as emotionally unstable and uh, the issues were projected onto the, your own issues, your own problems. So you should go and get some help. <laughs> uh, it's never their fault. They uh, may be at this point um, a victim, having a victim mentality. It's never their fault. They always write. They always have best intentions. They're such noble people, noble people, and it's all you, you, you that is not good. And you should take the responsibility for everything that went wrong. You see? Um, they have no problems with make you feel bad, humiliated, or jealous. Not at all. Um, that's who they are. And when you start to feel insecure, worried, um, you may do anything, whatever it takes to bring them back, okay, uh, to love you only. And that's what they want, the full control to make you their uh, slave, their dorma, to get you exactly what they want you. So even if you go back after a while, you didn't speak to them, they will still make you feel guilty, horrible, and they need time to think if they want you back or not. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, open the door and run for the hills. That's what I think I said in the other public video on YouTube. You cannot fix them. They will not get it. They psychopaths, they sociopaths. They are very toxic people. And if you stay with them thinking you change them, oh, you may uh, check your sanity. If already that person's in the past, laugh all the way. I started to laugh at myself today, in fact, that's why I'm making this video. It hit me so hard. What was I thinking about? I actually went through a relationship with a narcissist for many years. So I have a personal experience. Everything, what I told you, I went actually through it. So today, finally, I'm releasing. I'm, I've been laughing all morning. Honestly, I've been laughing inside, outside. I said, what the heck happened to me? Such a wise person. And you see, it may happen to anybody. To the best, to the wisest, to the most accomplished, to the most successful men and women. That's how toxic they are. That's how that they are con artists. That's who they are. So you cannot beat them in their own game. You only may pray that they get a next narcissist and they boom, they get together and they will fight each other. You know, that would be the justice. Um, so don't even think about them. And if you are right now with somebody who is, as I described, leave. Leave right now. It will never change. 
you, on the other hand, will always suffer as long as you're with them or thinking about them. Don't be a victim. Be a leader and get out of there. Much, many kisses, much love, 11-11. We know who we are, we know what we want, and we're not dormants. <laughs>